Hey you guys, welcome back to Focus with GK. Today I wanted to make this video that I thought would be a cool addition to the channel. Something that's really a little extra for my subscribers. So I did something really awesome today. I created a Focus with GK Instagram page. So when you go to it today, there's hardly anybody following because it's literally created today. And I have just this image thrown on there and I was like how cool would that be to throw the image up as a YouTube video let me explain the behind the scenes of it and then you guys go to the Instagram page and uh, give it a thumbs up give it a like or maybe have your own two cents you want to throw in on it so the next time I go out there if maybe one of your ideas is uh, worthy of me thinking of and remembering I'll go ahead and uh, make that adjustment next time but for now let me explain this shot one of my favorite things to do on an engagement session is work within the last hour, within that golden hour. Well, over in City Park, we have this section of wildflowers that they plant. I call them weeds with flowers, but they're wildflowers. Um, and they only last a few weeks because it's so dreadfully hot here in New Orleans that, you know, nothing, nothing lasts outside for too, too long. But they're very colorful. They plant a lot of them, and they actually carve um, some, some rows so you can walk through the field. What you have to know is there are no filters used taking the image, or are there any filters added to the image to get it to look this way. When that sun is, is in the foreground, where you're staring at the image and the sun is way over there, if you're going to use the sun as flare or to some degree part of your scene, you need to photograph a high enough shutter speed to complement the sky so it's not just blown out white. And because of this lens having a very high aperture, um, very large eye, I'm, I mean, as far as the 1.4, I forget what I shot this at, but it was a pretty big eye because I wanted to shoot a very fast shutter speed. And this effect kind of happened as far as it looks kind of HDR-ish, but it's not. And to me, that was just really, really cool. So once you figure out what you want your scene to look like, then you have your actual clients waiting for your direction. And I love my engagement clients being the couples that they are. Just relax, just be you, you know? Hold hands, walk in the field. Well, we had that path, so I just turned them around to make it look like they were walking in the field. I don't like very, very posed images. For me, it takes away from the genuineness of them being who they are as a couple. And that, that's just me. And I like things to be as they are. So I used to work with Flash outside all the time. And then about six to seven years ago, I stopped because I was realizing that sometimes Flash will alter the scene according to what I'm seeing. And if you're in love with the scene of what you're looking at, why mess with it? Why not give the clients exactly what they see and love, which is the experience that they actually had? It's very relatable when they see an image where they know we were just standing in the field, I was just doing my job, and then this happens. You know, sometimes when you add that flash on the stand with the softbox or whatever it is, um, not that it's bad by any means. I mean, as a photographer, I do like how those things look. I just wanted to hold true to my style, which is hashtag simple, clean, beautiful. For me, these days, that means not turning a flash on until I absolutely have to. I love that. To me, it just kind of keeps the wholesomeness of an image. It keeps me true as a photographer because it makes me work the scene. Um, you know, when I used to work with the flash, it was, I could shoot anywhere because I can turn the flash on and I was always getting light on my subject and, you know, yay, that was cool, but it wasn't true. And that sunlight coming from the front would not illuminate my subject from the view that I'm looking at them. I personally don't see the purpose of adding flash to make this change, but not to say the image wouldn't look good. Of course it would look pretty cool, man. I'm just all about staying true these days. So do me a favor, go to the Instagram page, go look up Focus with GK, the links are right below. 
I would love to see you over there. Give me a follow. I'm going to keep that Instagram page true to the YouTube channel. Look, I would love to hear more of your voice on videos like this and on images like this. If you think I should do something different next time I'm out there, or what would you do differently to this image? Um, and what I mean by that is how would you photograph it differently? Not Photoshop. I don't want to hear about Photoshop. Why don't you burn and dodge? Why don't you do... I don't, I don't want to go there. Let's stick to the brand. Let's stick to hashtag simple, clean, beautiful. And all that means to me is do it in the camera. Do it in the camera. That makes you a better photographer. What you do in the computer makes you a better graphic artist. That's strictly my opinion, but I'm gonna roll with that. So look, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate all of you guys um, on the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that button, join the rest of our fellow subs, and come to the channel where you wanna see some photography, some business of photography, and some positive, positive motivation on why you should stay focused on your dreams. And if you can make your craft a business, come on, man. That's all I do. 24 years, 24 years. That's crazy to me. So look, even though I am in love with my Fuji X-T3 camera, uh, this channel is not a Fuji channel, okay? It's about using any equipment properly to get any kind of images you're trying to create in your head, to the camera, to your final product. Um, doesn't matter if you're Sony, Canon, I was Canon for over two decades, man. And uh, this camera is just in my bag, but this is not a Fuji channel. This is just the, the equipment that I'm using today. So thanks for being here. I truly, truly appreciate all you guys leaving some comments. It means the world to me to see some interactivity because it just makes me want to do more of these videos for you guys. You know, we're busy over here, but not busy enough to share some love. Yeah. All right, you guys, look, see you later. I'm going to see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Have a creative day. Most importantly, stay focused on your dreams. You know what that means. <laughs>